Okay, I know you guys don't like me comparing my engine with Unreal because, of course, there are different engines and Unreal is like gigantic. Um, and I'm not trying to compete with Unreal. I'm not trying to beat Unreal. Cave is something else. Uh, but I promise that this time is for a good reason. I will compare the engine. So, uh, too long to read. This is a character um, I was creating. I made it myself. Um, it does not look very good, but we'll get there in a moment. People go to the comments and say, man, can you please put together a scene showcasing the graphics capabilities of the engine, of Cave Engine? And I politely answer, no. <laughs> and they say, why not? We need to know. And the thing is, I'm not an artist, so I don't know how to create good art. As you can see here, this is a character that does not look good, um, but well, I'm trying. Um, this is, by the way, I used Fuse to create the base character. Um, then I use Blender to scoop the, the clothes and then I use uh, Armor Paint to create like PBR, uh, not to create, like to use PBR workflow to paint this character and all that. Um, and this is for a game actually. I, I'm working here in the studio using Cave and I'll get that again in a second. But the, the thing is, then people say, go ahead and open Fab, which is like the new asset marketplace that Epic Games have. And the difference between uh, Fab and other marketplaces is that, uh, let me show you in a second here. And you guys always almost saw my passwords here. <laughs> so this is Fab. Um, and they say, well, just go ahead uh, open fab and download some very realistic stuff all important to the engine and do it and I try to do this but I still can't put together a realistic scene because once again I'm not an artist so it turns out that if I get like a very realistic stuff like this I don't know stylized grass pack um, and put in the engine it's not only dropping there I need to know how to place this in the scene to look good how to place a camera how to adjust the lightning uh, and all that that I don't know how to do it and I'm I'm not an artist anyways. So funny enough, I was actually trying to put this in a real and I, I try I was trying to put together some realistic scenes in a real engine 5 uh, because Unreal is very good at making realistic stuff and they also looks bad. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. Anyways, let's jump to the point here uh, which is the, the comparison. So I kept going with this character. I finished this um, the sculpt and the, the texturing and then I imported into Blender to export to Mixamo and do all that. So you can see here um, the model in Blender. Let me close Armor Paint so my computer don't die. Um, the model is not very good in Blender it's even worse but um, it's because I did not even bother to, to create the the shaders because of course I'm not using Blender I'm using the engine I'm using Cave um, so I just put together something so I can see and do some cleanups and all that and put the hair and also the eyes and the eyebrow and all that uh, and the thief it's inside here uh, comes from the fuse stuff anyways um, then I import it to the engine and to my surprise this is what I got um, it looks very bad. As you can see, uh, the, the brightness is completely overexposed and all that. Um, there's something odd. And also you can see here um, how weird is this. Uh, it's because this version of the engine, this model here, actually uses multiple materials uh, to it. Still looks bad here, but you can see that I do have two materials, two parts here. And this version of the of the engine does not handle this. So this is why you're seeing this weird stuff. So I realized, well, two things. First things first, I need to fix the material. So I he wrote the asset importer. If you are on our Discord server, you know this and how it works for multiple material. Um, but I still needed to figure out why the graphics look so bad. So I decided to go ahead and port the same model, the same thing, um, except the hair, into Unreal Engine 5. And this is what I got. Um, as you can see here, it looks very different it does not i don't know why it's not animated right now i think it's because rio is crying but anyways you can see it looks very different from my engine <laughs> um i did by the way i did tweak the the texture a little bit in photoshop to add more um contrast to the base character but if i put the base color here no i need to oh real man real is complicated 
I don't know how guys live with this. Like, I need to wait 10 seconds to see any changes in my materials. Anyways, um, but still, it looks better than this, right? And I was trying to explore why. I mean, why it looks bad? Is this, is this like just a, a matter of adjusting, tweaking the settings, tweaking like the, the sun maybe, because the sun may be too bright. Let me reduce the sun. Well, now it's, it looks a little bit better, but it sounds weird, washed out, sounds uh, bluish, and maybe it's because of the ambient intensity. So if I remove the ambient, well, it's no longer blue-ish, but then it's too dark, so I, I need to, uh, uh, I don't know. It all looks, always looks bad. So then I decided to do some tests. I decided to see what is going on. Let me try to come back to the original videos here. Anyways, um, and it identify why it does not look like a real Engine 5, because um, it's the same material, actually, the same textures, the same model, the same roughness and specular and uh, metallic and albedo and normal map. So why, for example, in Unreal, you can see I have some specular stuff going on uh, in the arms and the, the, the colors looks much different. It, all, it almost like someone applied a filter to it. So I decided to, uh, to dig a little bit in, in, into Cave. And what I found is very interesting. Um, this version of the engine, I was just, I'm not an artist. <laughs> I had no, not much to, uh, of a base to inspire myself. So I made a bunch of interesting mistakes in the PBR physical base handling calculation. Uh, but most importantly, this version of the cave, which is the version that you guys have at the moment, um, does not have high dynamic range, meaning that the entire, um, world is rendering into what they call what we call low dynamic range uh, so if a light is too bright it will go below 1.0 which is like the threshold and it will com uh, appear completely bright so this is not good so what i was doing here in this version of the engine was after applying the pbr um, i was actually applying what we call a hindhart i don't know how to uh, pronounce this but it's Rhine and then hard uh, tone mapping that do basically like the curve. Let's see, like a, um, a brightness cur curve here, and this is like 1.0. Um, and if the curve is like this, which is like a PBR stuff, the high hard thing will make sure that this curve is always below 1.0 and it does something like that. This is basically tone mapping, but this is a very bad one. This is a very simple one. Um, don't get me wrong, I think we have like AAA game. I'm not sure. There's a game from some, from software I was uh, reading lately that uses this. So don't don't call it completely crap, but it was crap here. Um, also, there there is wrong gamma correction. And also the textures here, um, they were always in um, RGBA space, which is like linear. Uh, but the problem with textures is that if you go to a real, for example, and if you open and mouse over a texture here, you will see that it is not linear. It is gamma space, which is what we call us sRGB. Um, so this was another problem in Cave. Um, so I actually fixed this. A lot of talking, I know, but I, I figured that you guys may want to know why it looks like this. Um, and I'll show you how it looks right now if my computer permits to open a bunch of uh, instances of the engine. So I have the same thing. Of course, it's not the same project because Cave 1.2 is completely different from 1.1. 1 .1. um, and pardon the frame per second here, but because I have a lot of stuff and my computer is really struggling. Anyways, um, you can see the difference now. Can you see this? Can you spot this? Man. This is Cave 1.2. Let me close 1.1. Just one last look on how bad this looks. Let me close this. Let's go back to Cave. Now we have my performance back. You can see it's a completely different thing. And what is nice now about Cave, if you click the sun and see, the intensity is now 81. And I can actually put this like into probably 800. And well, it looks very bright, but it does not look bad uh, because now we have 
HDR and we have um, automatic exposure. So if I look at the, the sky, then the entire rest of the thing, you can see it is adapting. If I probably look at the texture, you can see that I can see the details. So we do have this feature now, which makes a lot of differences, a lot of different when it comes to uh, a PBR workflow, because in the end, I realized that I'm studying a lot lately uh, to compensate my lack of artist skills. So at least I have math skill behind this. Um, that PBR, like as the name suggests, it needs to be physically based. And the sun does not have like two of intensity. It have a lot of intensity. So you have to compensate this with HDR and then tone uh, exposure and then tone mapping and then gamma correction and all that. And also, this is very nice. Um, the texture is now in cave. You can see they do now, this is new, they do have a texture space. And by default, now they are imported as gamma. And by the way, look at this. This is, Let me actually get the, the texture. Look at how this would change if I move this to linear. It immediately looks bad. Can you see this? And cave 1.1 was using linear everywhere. So the textures will look odd and it's for a reason. And it's so simple, like it's literally gamma space and also HDR and all a bunch of other stuff. Uh, but with these changes, can you see now that the same uh, specular that we had in Unreal, now we have here. So let me compare 101. You can see, uh, you can see Unreal. It looks a bit more uh, uh, red-ish here in Unreal. But still, probably because of the, the sun settings, my sun have different uh, settings than Unreal. I, anyways, um, but you can see here how close they are. Like, because of course, this is the same model. This is the same, exactly the same thing. Uh, and I'm not saying that they look good or bad because, well, I don't think they look very good, uh, the model itself, but the, at least the, the, the math, the, the lightning, it's correct now. And I'm very proud of this. So I'm happy because well, Unreal is again a state-of-the-art thing and let me actually put the scalability here to cinematic for a second. Let's hope that my computer doesn't explode or it's not even wanting to, to change. I clicked. Oh boy. Anyways. Oh, performances. Oh my god. Anyways. Um, I don't think it changed anything anyways. Oh, not global illumination. I want shadows. Yes. So this is the difference, and I'm actually very um, happy to see this huge, gigantic different uh, difference in the lightning of Cave Engine 1.2. This is coming to you. I'm very happy. Even the sky, man. Compare, go back in the video and compare the sky now with how it used to be. It looks like something else, completely different. It's a completely new stuff. And by the way, just like an extra, um, I've added uh, hair to the character. <laughs> Anyways, now the only uh, missing piece of the puzzle for Cave is actually I will uh, work in the ambient occlusion. Can you see some ghosting here around the, the head, uh, the hand of the character? This is because of the ambient occlusion. I will rework in this to improve it a little bit and probably uh, the... The PCF for the shadows, you can see some artifacts here because of the PCF. If I disable the PCF, of course, it will look, um, the artifact will disappear, but you can see the, the pixelation of the, the shadow. So I'll work on that probably. And then we'll have it. Like, man, this is, how cool is that? Like uh, a PBR, finally an uh, accurate PBR straight into K for you to put your models and everything. Anyways, um, I decided to make this video. I think it's worth making this video. Sorry if I talk too much before showing this, but I wanted to explain a little bit. So in a nutshell, the, the multi-material thing for the animated models in Cave is fixed. Now we do have HDR. We do have a great tone mapping, by the way. Cave uses AGX, which is like a very, from my researches at least, it was a very, it is a very state of the art tone mapping. Blender uses, um, actually Blender uses Aces and Ajax is basically an adaptation of Blender tone mapping. Um, and it's very good. And the PBR here is finally accurate. I finally took some time to um, do the necessary changes to have everything that you can expect from a PBR uh, model. Now I only need to have great models, but 
well, we are getting there. And I'm excited to make this game. Man, can you imagine this with a huge terrain? Let's add a terrain here. Let's add a terrain. Real quick, let's put a new height map. Where is the terrain, by the way? Oh, it needs a material. Here we go. Imagine this character. And this, by the way, is how easy it is to put a terrain in cave. Of course, you can adjust it. And all of, the, all of the sudden, I'm talking about terrain editor tools, by the way. <laughs> we can scope stuff. I will improve the terrain, by the way. Uh, and you can adjust the settings, make it uh, higher resolution, lower resolution, whatever. Um, and this is actually why I, I'm working on this game. Because I want to uh, use the engine a lot before releasing to you guys. Just to make sure that you guys have like the best possible uh, experience in the engine. Anyways... Folks, I'm very excited. Let's build a game. Man, this... Man, can you see this? This really looks good. Like, yes, we can have terrain and it's far away. And I can have like this realistic character. I can duplicate it and put it far away. I don't know, man. This is very nice. Look at this. Yes. Anyways, folks, that's it for this video. I'm very excited. If you want to check it out, Cave, I'll put the link in the description. You can purchase it on each, and you can also access our Discord server to discuss about it. So Cave 1.2 will be huge, and I recommend that you uh, start learning it right now because I'm very excited. Anyways, thanks for watching, and i see you in the next one. Bye.